his opponents. First, from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, he is the Apex Predator, the Viper, Randy Orton. Guys, I'd say that Randy Orton truly is one of the most dangerous competitors of this generation. Yeah, just look at the long list of legendary names he's left by the wayside. Well, to say he looks ready to get this match started would certainly be understating his eagerness right now. Yeah, the opening bell can't come soon enough for him, Cole. And I must say, I absolutely love seeing so much enthusiasm from him. You can't deny how impressive Jinder Mahal's rise to main event status has been. And the way he's been able to stay there is what impresses me the most. No one hit wonder here, Michael. And the good news is that he appears to be coming into tonight with a little extra motivation. Yeah, and he's really had a chip on his shoulder as of late, and it seems to have been helping him. intrigue here heading into this fatal four-way match. That's what you get, Michael, when you have four superstars who can legitimately win this thing. Well, I think we can all agree that this will be no easy match for him here tonight. Yeah, but you can say that about every match here on the card. There's no such thing as a cakewalk here in the WWE. Let's get this Hell in a Cell match underway. Oh, there's some good contact there by Randy Orton. There was a little something extra behind that chop. Taken down with authority. Right to the neck. What do you think about John Cena? He comes into this fatal four-way with high expectations. What does he need to do to emerge victorious? Well, this is hell in a cell, and he'll need to survive. First and foremost, he must survive, because even if he wins, he will be going through unspeakable suffering. 
anything that can be used as a weapon can be because everything's legal. He must remember this. If he can remain alert and hold on tight, he'll be poised to get the win. Right on the bridge of the nose. Nobody evokes more emotion from the WWE Universe than John Cena. For more than 15 years, audiences shoot to their feet to see WWE's standard bearer. Nice job by Randy Orton there. John Cena is starting to take some deep breaths in there. In four-way matches such as this, things could get very ugly for him very quickly. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Sheamus is showing a lot of heart here, but how can he turn this around in his favor? He needs to find a way to get back on the offensive if he wants to take this fatal four-way match. Having called many matches throughout John Cena's career, I can say he's the most polarizing figure in WWE. He goes for the quick pin attempt. Early kick out. Referee right on top of the action. Just powered out. Sheamus with the cover. And a kick out. Not even close on that one. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. Big miss for him there. And he'll likely pay for it here. And the uppercut lands. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Swing and a miss. That was strike one, two, and three. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. Nobody home for that one. No kidding. There weren't even any lights on. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Fireman's carry. This doesn't look good, Corey. Couldn't agree more, Cole. This has got trouble written all over it. Check out Jimmy Mahal's offense. He misses the mark. He might need glasses, Cole. His eyesight is clearly compromised. He slams him down with authority. He's playing with him now. You gotta believe this one's over. Now that's what I call making a statement. Oh! There is no coming back from that one. Doesn't show any signs of getting up here, guys. No, he's taking one heck of a beating, Mike. Wow, he escapes it. He's just got no quit in him here today. Came out of nowhere. Nobody does. His shoulders are down. He is a one-man gang in there. You'd have to think hitting the finisher here could end this thing. There he goes, crashing to the floor. He's not getting up. You can't like his chances right now. John Cena with a nice reversal. Back in from the floor. Randy Orton getting put to the test. You can't help but wonder if he can turn things around here. Will this be it? One. Cena continues to fight. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. A move like that is completely unnecessary. Unless you want to degrade your opposition, of course. He misses on that one. Were his eyes even open? He's really taking over this match now. On the shoulders here. And it could be a long way down from there. 
Up on the shoulders here. And there's no easy landing spot when it comes to a fireman's carry. And he lands a savage elbow. Dropped, and that was a hard shot, Corey. Yeah, he might want to think about throwing in the towel at this point. Well, he's tapped into a power source I wasn't sure he had. See if he can keep it going. And the ref goes down. We need a new ref out here, fast. And Sheamus reverses it. And a third by Sheamus. Good grief. Sheamus can't waste any time here. He's taking a long time to get up, guys. Perhaps playing a little possum here, Cole. Still trying to get back to his feet here. He's clearly in a bad way right now. John Cena is measuring. What is keeping Randy Orton in this match? There's the cover. Can he do it? Two! John Cena wins! Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. And a big thank you to everybody watching WWE's Hell in a Cell on the WWE Network. What an amazing match we just witnessed.